I do not believe I covered this on that Saturday. This is a quadratic equation because the highest exponent on the variable is a two. That means you'll have two solutions. And the way to solve this is by factoring. And if this trinomial, it has three terms, if it will factor, it'll factor into two terms. I'm sorry, two factors. And this spot times this spot has to give me x squared. So what times what is x squared? That would be x times x. And then this spot times this spot must give you six, multiplication. So your choices are one and six or two and three. And I'm gonna go with two and three. And you wanna get a positive six. That means these both either have to be both positive or both negative. And it's gonna be positive because of this sign here. Now let's practice making sure that we factor this correctly. So I'm gonna multiply it out. X times X is X squared. X times three is three X. Two times X is two X. And two times three is six equals zero. And then that's X squared plus five X plus six equals zero. So this factoring is correct. So I'm gonna erase this bottom part. That's where I checked it. And I'm gonna to try to keep from erasing my problem. So what's the only way you can multiply two numbers together and get zero? It means one of them has to be zero. So X plus two equals zero or x plus 3 equals 0, and that's x equals negative 2, 2, or x equals negative 3. So those are your two solutions. Oh, yes. And that other one uh, says number 15. It's a complex fraction. It's a, what is that, a? No, it's 4, sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, I'll work it in a separate email, separate video.